यहाँ से होने दीदी वहां जा रहे हैं चलिए तो अगेन आई एम यू नो अगेन आई एम डिस्कसिंग दू नो वट इज इम्पोर्टेंट इन दिस क्लास फर्स्ट यू हैव टू मेंटेन डिसिप्लिन सेकेंड यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू गो आउट विद इन द क्लास इन बिटवीन द क्लास है ना बीच में उठकर हमें बाहर नहीं जाना है थोड़ी टाइम तो हमने पढ़ना है ना और ऐसे करके ऐसे करके ऐसे नहीं सीधे सिट स्ट्रेट ठीक है सीधे बैठना है क्योंकि हमने क्या बात की थी सीधे बैठेंगे तो देर विल बी अ गुड कनेक्शन बिटवीन योर ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ब्रेन एंड बैक बोन राइट सो वेन एवर वी सेट स्ट्रेट अवर माइंड गेट्स एक्टिवेटेड दैट स्पाइनल कॉर्ड सेंड सिग्नल्स टू द ब्रेन इट रिमेन्स एक्टिव यू लर्न मोर इन स्मॉल टाइम राइट ऐसे नहीं सीधे सीधे वेरी गुड है ना एंड ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेरी इंटेलिजेंट स्टूडेंट यू नो द थिंग्स की वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क कम फॉरवर्ड नियर द माइक आस्क मैम एंड देन शी विल राइट सो दिस टाइम Anupma ma'am, she will teach you about science classes, right? But don't have to hesitate in asking any question. Is it right? Yes. Okay, assignment layer. Okay, That's really good. Now, now, please settle down, settle down fastly. इनको नाम नहीं है हमारे का. You can ask their roll number. किसी से पूछना? Okay. Mike के पास आ जाएंगे. Four, four students, please be silent. Please be silent. Okay. So good morning, students and teacher. Good morning. I, Dr. Anupama Bhardwaj, STEM teacher from Cadicon, and I welcome you in live interaction from our studio in Chandigarh. So, students, how how are you? That's good. So, have you had your breakfast in the morning? Yes. Okay. So, are you feeling energetic now? Yes. Raise your hands fastly, both hands. Raise your both hands like this. Yes. Keep doing this. I want to see your energy. Yes. Yes. More fast, 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 fast. Now settle down. That's good. That's good. So, how are you feeling now? Feeling more energetic? Yes. That's really good. Want to do once more? Yes. So repeat it. Repeat it. One, two, three. Start. Lower your hands. Now do it. That's really good. That's really good. I can see the energy. That's really good. So you all had your breakfast and feeling energetic. So can any one of you tell me what this process is called? You had your food and now you are feeling energetic. You have energy. Yes. 
raise your hand who wants to tell what we call it any of you yes first uh, 7c for uh, first bench girl amil sorry sorry come close to the mic amil meal meal is food that you had but energy you are getting right now so what it is called mam energy giving food yes food gives us energy but what this process is called can you see here this term yes 7b second bench girl who is raising hand yes yes stand up come close to the mic 7b 7b Use your hand. Yes, yes. Seven B girl, come close to the mic. Yes. Uh, you are not audible. Yes, please, teachers. Yes, thank you. No, it's not audible, ma'am. Please check the mic. Okay. Any from seven A? any student yes first bench yes nutrition that's good it is called nutrition so nutrition is what how can we define nutrition it is a mode of uptake of food how would how we take in food and then use it for to getting energy like you all are energetic now same way okay so that is nutrition and our topic is nutrition in plants so we know that we all are human beings and living organisms is it so raise your hand we are living organisms now raise your hand okay that's good first bench 7b boy with a girl first bench we are human beings or not yes student next to you yes yes so we are human beings now you didn't raise your hand so yes we all are human beings and living organisms so who can tell me what are the characteristics of living organism if i say i am a living organism you all are saying that you are living organism so how come you tell or how can how come you say that you are living organisms is there any criteria or characteristics yes why we are living organisms do we have something special from this pen Yes, seven A first bench corner boy corner corner. Come close to the mic, student. We can. We can grow. We can grow. Yes. What else? Any other? Yes, second seven A second sec uh, first bench second boy. We can breathe. We can breathe. that's really good wonderful wonderful now 7b who can tell me about more criteria or characteristics of living organisms yes second bench corner girl come close to the mic your voice is not audible ma'am please check the mic i think it's not working properly you are on mute yes now now say no no your voice is not audible at all okay ma'am please check the mic again or uh, switch on or switch off it again might be helpful okay student so 7c first bench girl i can see yes come close to the mic and say ma'am we can move yes we can move so with the move i want to know plant is living organism or not what do you think plant is living organism or not living organism but but plant can't move how come plant is a living organism have you seen plant is moving from one place to another so from the 7c second row first bench girl ma'am plants grow plants grow what else first you tell me your name what's your name i'm janvi janvi yes janvi tell me more about the living organism characteristics like plant can grow what else plant can do plant can eat or not when plants can prepare their food how come 
I'm due to process photosynthesis. That's really good. Now, how many of you are seven A, seven B, and seven C? How many of you already aware of the term photosynthesis? Raise your hand, both hands again, like this. Oh, that's really good. Now lower your hands. That's good. Wonderful. So yes, that is the term photosynthesis that we are going to learn or discuss more in today's session. Okay. So we have eat or we eat food like this, isn't it? Using our hands, we take in food using our hands. Okay. And then after that, we utilize it and get energy. Like you all are having energy right now. You all are having energy, na? You told me in the beginning of the session. So that is nutrition. Because of that, you are feeling energetic. Okay. But plants can't eat food like we do, na? But plants can't eat food. We haven't seen single plant is eating something from outside like us, isn't it? So the ultimate source of energy for plant comes from where? From here. That is what we say. That is from sun. So from the sun, plants get energy. Okay. So sun is the ultimate source of energy. But can you tell me what is the energy or what is the light or color of the light that is falling on the earth's surface from the sun? Can you tell me? Uh, 7C, uh, ma'am, please check the connection. Video is not working. It's freezed. 7C. Okay. So meanwhile, student tell me. Yes, my my voice is coming now. 7B and 7A, raise your hand. If, you, if my voice is audible, raise your hand like earlier. Okay, that's good. But 7, 7C, uh, your voice is coming, but your audio, video is freeze. Please check. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, please uh, check 7C. I'm sorry, I think uh, there is something problem. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, yes, uh, the white color from the sun or white light from the sun falling on our surface. But do you know in white color or the white color light is consist of seven colors. Have you seen rainbows? Yes. How many of you seen rainbow? Everyone. That's really good. Can you tell me the color of the rainbow fastly? Anyone? Raise your hand. 7A or 7B. Raise your hand. Seven colors of rainbow. Yes. First band 7A, middle boy. Oh. Okay, that's wonderful. So yes, here also you can see the seven color of the uh, rainbow. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, excuse me. In first side, please check seven C plus is working. Your side, something is problem. Where is the uh, working seven C plus? In your side, ma'am, please check seven C plus. Seven C from my end. Okay, I'll check, ma'am. Okay, I'll check. Okay, I'm checking now. Okay. So here, students, like you told me, yes, we have seven colors in a rainbow. Okay. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Okay. So these are the seven colors that are, you know, coming from white light. And when we can see these seven colors, when white light is passing either through water droplets and rainbow is formed after just after the rain, isn't it? Okay. And we can say when it is passing through a glass prism. If you have glass prism, you can do this experiment at your home also and you can see these beautiful seven colors. Okay. So now let's move ahead. Okay. So we just learned seven colors in a white light. So now leaf that is present in where? In plant also respond differently to different color light. So can you tell me the color of the leaf that everyone can tell me? Isn't it? Raise your hands. Who want to tell? Raise your hand. That's good. Isn't it green in color? Yeah. 
Yes, is it green in color? Why do leaf look green in color? Yes, raise your hand. So seven A, first row, second girl, first bench, first bench. Yes, yes. Firstly, tell me your name. Yeah. Your voice is not audible. Come close to the mic. Ma'am, please call. Yes, Ravneet. Yes, tell me. Because of presence of chlorophyll. Yes, due to presence of chlorophyll. But what chlorophyll does? Why chlorophyll is green color? Why we see only green color of the leaf? Because it is chloroplast. Because it is chloroplast. Okay, you are coming close to the answer. That's good. Who else wants to tell? Why do leaf look green in color? Who else? Yes. Firstly, tell me your name. Ravneet. What's uh, pardon? Ravneet. Okay. What's uh, tell me the answer? Because of presence of green pigment. Green pigment. Yes, that is chlorophyll. That's good. But what chlorophyll does? What is the role of the chlorophyll? Yes. Last bench. Come close. Yes. Rest all lower your hands. Chloroplast. Chloroplast. Okay, you also close to the answer. That's good. Okay, so now I'll tell you. So now here you can see these colors. Okay. Now here you can see. Just give me a minute. So now here you can see. Only green light is going back, isn't it? Can you see this? Okay, that's good. So now, what it this green light is doing here? How it is behaving? Yes. Any of you? Okay. So just just imagine this is a ball. Okay, this is a ball, and I'm throwing ball towards this ball. What happened? Ball is going to hit this surface. And then come back, isn't it? Yes. So same like this, light is falling on the surface and moving back or bounce back. What this bounce back is called? It is called. It is called. Yes. It is called reflection. And here only green light is getting reflected. So that that's why we can see green color. Okay. So you can see me. I can see when we can see many things around us. That is just because of reflection. Means our body is reflecting the light. So whatever region that is able to reflect the light, we can see. Now air is around us. Yes. Air is around us now. But can you see the air? But can you see the air? No. Why we can't see the air? Yes, because air cannot reflect the light. Okay? So that's why we cannot see the air. Got it? Yes. Now, let's see here other colors also. Now, here you can see blue color light. Sorry, red color light and blue color light are getting absorbed. Like if you have sponge, now you can uh, put water in that sponge. Sponge absorb the water. Yes. Similarly, some part of the rays, like red. You're holding it in your hand. Yes. No, it's audible, ma'am. Now it's visible. Now it's visible. Now it's working fine. Okay. So I was telling that only red and blue light is absorbed by leaf. Okay, so here you can see it is getting inside the leaf because it is getting absorbed. Got it? Is it clear? So what we call it? 
we call it absorbance that's good now what about this the lights that are moving or we can say passing through the leaves what we call it yes we learned about reflection we learned about absorbance what else what is left now if something is passing through me just imagine this pen is easily passing through me what it is it is transmittance what it is transmittance that's good here we can see it is going to transmit okay so that is what so now you know why leaf is looking green in color green color is bouncing back green color is reflecting back and what light is more absorbed by the leaf that is more is red than blue got it now let's take a question based on this okay and yes so this is the question that you can see here study the following bar graph and tell in which wavelength of light maximum photosynthesis photosynthesis takes place so what do you think red or blue how many of you say that red raise your hand okay everyone 7a 7b 7c that's really good yes students you are right it's red color that is getting reflected more and because of the reflection it is or we can say that is going to uh, sorry reflected not absorbed more and that is why it is being used or getting used in uh, making food that is through photosynthesis okay that is good well done so now let's move ahead so so how many of you know so how many of you know cooking i am not asking you to make food just know cooking the process raise your hand have you seen your mother or elder at your home doing something in a kitchen or cooking food in a kitchen how many of you seven c everyone seven b almost everyone first bench except first bench okay and seven a also that's really good so like if i want to cook a food firstly i need to go where in a kitchen so firstly i move to the kitchen here okay so first step is moving to the kitchen here is a kitchen okay now in a uh, plant kitchen is leaf okay leaf is a kitchen of the plant now after that what i need i need burner or we can say gas stove because of that we can cook the food now so here leaf in leaf we have green cells and in green cells we have chloroplast that you all already told me when i asked you a question about the green color of the leaf so here chloroplast act as a burner so here we have a burner second point here it is burner second point got it now we have burner we have kitchen what else we need we need something utensil where we can put our food to be cook isn't it we can't put food or we can't put aloo and pyaar directly on the burner isn't it we need kadhai na or pan we need that yes so similarly in plant also we need pan and that plant pan is chlorophyll that is our third number number 3 here we have number 3 so now last is fuel that we have lpg and here we have sunlight so now you can compare it kitchen gas burner pan and fuel these are the four items that we need to cook food isn't it yes yes now can you tell me kitchen of the plant raise your hand yes 7c first bench first row girl tell me leaf, leaf is the kitchen of plant that's good wonderful what's your name anshika anshika well done that's good now who will tell me who me who will tell me the burner of the plant burner of the plant 7a second uh, row 
सेकेंड रो बॉय कॉर्नर कॉर्नर बॉय सॉरी फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड बेंच बॉय फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड बेंच बॉय कॉर्नर यस यस कम सेकेंड बेंच यस 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 यू टेल मी बर्नर ऑफ द प्लांट Yes, well done. What's your name? Tell me your name. Okay, well done. That's good. Now, lastly, tell me span of the plant. Seventh B, uh, first row and second boy. First bench, second boy. First bench. Yes. Who is turning back? Yes. First bench. Yes. 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 You. Chlorophyll. Yes, that's good. Well done. So this is the uh, what we call span of the plant, where basically everything is happening because chlorophyll is absorbing the light that you told me, na. The green color is getting absorbed by the chlorophyll that is present in chloroplast. Okay, so that is what. So now we come close to the our food making mechanism or process, but we need raw material also, na. Like if I want to make aloo gobi ki sabji, I need aloo and gobi also na. Now plant also needs something. What are the raw material for the photosynthesis? Who can tell me? Raise your hand. Okay, seven A first bench boy corner. Yes, first bench. Carbon dioxide. Yes, carbon dioxide and water. Yes, so carbon dioxide and water are the raw material for the photosynthesis. That's good. So here, carbon dioxide is present where in air. Like we breathe out what carbon dioxide, na? But it's not a waste gas for the environment because a plant is you know getting that carbon dioxide. They need that carbon dioxide to make their food. So. Carbon dioxide that is present in a air, okay? So carbon dioxide that is present in air is going inside the leaf. Can you tell me these tiny openings or pores that are present in leaves are called what? What do we call it? So seventh B second bench, ah uh, middle row, girl, middle row. Yes, yes, yes. Firstly, tell me your name, then answer it. Yes, tomato. Yes, yes. So it's tomato. So it is called tomato. So you can uh, note down in your notebook also. Tomato is a door. Tomato is is a door that allow carbon dioxide to come inside the leaf. So tomato is a door that allow carbon dioxide to come. Inside the leaf, so this is a tiny pore. So it remain, it remains open during the daytime, but get closed during the night time. So it remains open during the. Day time, but get closed during night time. Like we usually close our door during the night time, and we open, uh, keep it open for a while in during day time. Similarly, okay, in leaf also, stomata remain open during day time, but get closed during the night time. Okay, so here you can see carbon dioxide is coming inside, but this door is also, you know, leave something. Something is coming out of this door or stomata. That is oxygen. We will learn about this in photosynthesis reaction. So carbon dioxide is coming inside, and oxygen is going outside from the leaf through this stomata. Now we know carbon dioxide is now finally here. Now water. 
that is H2O. We water plants. How many of you like gardening? How many of you like gardening? Okay, many of you. That's really good. It connects us with the nature. That's good. That's good. So we water plant always in downward direction, isn't it? We always water plant in this direction, now yes. Towards the ground. Why so? Why we? Yes. Yes, first one, seven C girl. First one, yes. And so that the water can uh, go to roots, roots of plants. That's good, Ashita. Ashita was your name, no? Anshika. Anshika, that's good. That's good, Anshika. So yes, we water plant in downward direction because only the roots that are present in a plant can absorb water. Okay? So that's why. Like we have mouth, now. We can take food inside or water inside through our mouth only. Isn't it? We can't put our hand in a water and think that it will absorb the water. It is not going to happen. Similarly, if we water plant in leaves, in flowers, it is not going to help him. So basically, we water plant in downward direction because roots is the only organ or the part of the plant that can absorb the water. Got it? So that's why. So, but how come from the roots, water reaches to topmost layer? Or we can say topmost part like flower or leaf. How come? Yes, seventh A, first point. Boy, yes. Xylem. Like we have water pipes in our home now that basically conduct water from one place to another. Similarly, in plants, here you can see in a leaf also. So these are the pipes or we can say xylem. That is a tissue that helps in conducting or transporting water from roots to each and every part of the plant. Got it? Is it clear? Okay. So now let's move. So this is a whole photosynthesis. So now, we just learned till now, we need sun, okay? sun as a fuel okay we need carbon dioxide as a raw material we need water as a raw material and both goes where in a leaf okay so here we have carbon dioxide plus water and when they react in the presence of sunlight what they give they give sugar and they give oxygen so these are the two materials that we get from the photosynthesis Sugar and what, uh, oxygen, okay? Oxygen, that is very essential for us because we breathe in oxygen. We can't survive without oxygen. So plant give us oxygen. We should plant more and more trees for our cell, for our betterment, okay? So now all these things happening where? In a chloroplast that is present where? Chloroplast is present where? In leaves. Yes, that's good. And in chloroplast, green color pigment is called what? Chlorophyll. Yes. So chlorophyll absorbs red and red and blue light. Okay. And carbon dioxide and water get combined and react in the presence of sunlight and gives off sugar and Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. And this whole process is called? Okay. And can you tell me the name of the nutrition that plant is following? Yes, first one, seventh day, corner boy. Yes. Yes, it is autotrophic. Yes, write down students, write down. Plant is having autotrophic mode of nutrition. What does the meaning of autotrophic here? Auto, auto means self. Means it's not depend on us or anyone for their food. Like we are depend upon either plant or either animal for our plant. Yes, first 7A, first bench, your hand is raised. 
Yes, they prepare their own food. Yes. So self means self means means it is not going. It is not dependent on anyone. Trophic here means nourishment. Means they nourish. They get energy by themselves by making their food themselves. They are not dependent upon anyone. Like we are dependent upon plants or animals for our food. Okay. So that is we mean meant by autotrophic mode of nutrition. So you have. Note it down in a notebook. Plants is having autotrophic mode of nutrition. Got it? Now, just imagine, plant make or synthesize more food. Okay, they need only this much of food, but they made this much of food. What plant is going to do now? Yes, who is going to tell? Raise your hand. Uh, I think seven, seven a first bench middle boy. Yes. Repeat, repeat. Okay, they give to other organism. Yes, we we eat their food, but you know, like if we make uh, you know extra food, what we do? We we store in a fridge, in refrigerator. But plant plants do not have refrigerator, so they store their food like in roots in other parts, like we. Uh, if you know that some uh, vegetables are present where below the soil, vegetables like if we say potato, onion, uh, carrot, radish are present where below the soil, isn't it? But leaves are where above the soil. Okay, so extra food is getting stored in other vegetative parts. It can be root, it can be stem. Okay. So that is how they store their extra food. They also store their food for later use. So let's see what is the extra food here and how we can store it. So let's see here. So this is the chemical equation of photosynthesis. You can note down. So carbon dioxide is this. Note down this student. This is carbon dioxide. This is water. So here, six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water in the presence of sunlight in chlorophyll. What they are going to form? They are going to form glucose. This is glucose, how we are showing this with this mark, okay? And six molecules of oxygen. Now they make glucose, but they need to store extra food. How they are going to store it? they are going to combine or we can say polymerize these glucose molecules into a complex sugar that is called starch. So in the form of starch, they store their extra food. Okay, so starch is their storage food. We can say that. Got it? So from glucose, they made what? What is a storage food? Starch. Yes, it's starch. That is a storage food. That is how they store food. So please note down this fastly. So carbon dioxide, six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water form glucose plus six molecules of oxygen. And when they make extra food, they convert that glucose into storage food. That is starch. Okay. So note down this after this, uh, take out your assessment sheets. <clears throat> so sheets are with you. Okay, that's good. So First question is white light reaching earth consists of dash number of colors. Dash number of colors. 7B, first row, second boy. Second boy, first, yes. First row, second boy. Second bench, yes. Come close to the mic. Yes, seven colors. Seven colors. What are those colors? 
that are vip gyor that we learned so yes seven colors so note down seven colors okay second question leaves appear green as they dash green light reflect 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 yes so green leaves so answer is option a option a okay because they reflect green light so they appear green in color third question maximum photosynthesis is by red and blue light as chlorophyll dash blue and red light okay show me the option like this for one this two this raise your finger like this okay show me your finger like this okay i can see mostly are showing me three fingers yes it's c because red and blue light is getting absorbed so yes it's c that's good or here also you can see getting absorbed okay fourth uh, case study now leaves of plants are food producing industries okay which have green compartments called as leaf cells each leaf cell have a kitchen called as chloroplast which contains chlorophyll stomata are the small pores on the surface of leaves like our nostrils okay long tube extend from roots up to leaves these long tubes are called as xylem which transport water to the leaves from the roots so question we have first is what absorbs sunlight in leaves where is it present raise your hand who wants to answer this question yes 7a first bench middle boy come close yes yes chlorophyll absorb the light and where is it present in chloroplast in leaf that's good second question what are the functions of stomata and xylem in plants we just learned about this yes uh, i who is uh, going to answer this raise your hand second question yes okay 7c second bench yes boy yes yes you firstly tell me your name gursharan singh okay tell me uh, tell me the answer the stomata are small pores present on the surface of the leaf they uh, absorb uh, they take in carbon dioxide co2 and uh, the loss of h2o water is done by the stomata that's good and what is the role of xylem it transports water that's good yes so stomata basically it's a tiny pore that is present on leaf that helps in exchange of gases like what happens in that case carbon dioxide is going out and oxygen is coming in is it is it or carbon dioxide is going out or carbon dioxide is coming in and oxygen is going out it just reverses okay that's good so and xylem basically transport water from the roots to the rest part of uh, rest of the uh, parts of the plant what will happen if the stomata remain closed for a long time explain why if stomata is closed what is going to happen exchange will happen exchange of gases will happen or not no no so that is what now the carbon dioxide will not uh, you know going to come inside and oxygen will not move outside okay next question is photosynthesis is a physical process as it is a reversible reaction b chemical reaction as new products are formed c chemical reaction as it is a exothermic reaction process or d physical process as it occurs in the presence of light so what do you think yes 7a first bench corner girl first bench yes option b option b so chemical reaction as new products are formed okay now next is fifth which equation is right a b c d raise your hand we just did this out of this a b c d which one is right show me fingers yes which equation is right okay i can see that 
Yes, I can see that. So what is that? Is it? Is it? Yes. Fourth one. That's right. Six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water, and six molecules of oxygen. That's good. Sixth is last. A goat eats away all the leaf of a small plant. However, in a few days, new leaves could be seen sprouting in the plant again. How did the plant survive without leaves? So we just learned about the storage part now. How do a plant store food? So it is related to that. First, when seventh, a middle boy. Yes. And option A. That's good by using reserve food. And the last, uh, coming to reason and assertion. So seventh is purple leaves also have chlorophyll but do not appear green. Reason other pigments su uh, suppress the green color. Yes. Yes, 7A, corner, first bench, corner girl. Option D. Option D, no. Purple leaves, uh, okay, middle one, you tell. Option A. Yes, both are correct. Yes, that's good. Now, eight. Assertion, photosynthesis play a crucial role in maintaining environmental health. Reason, controls air pollution by absorbing carbon dioxide. Who wants to tell this? Yes, 7C, first row, first bench girl. Anshika. I'm B. It's B, both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not correct explanation of uh, assertion. Um, yes. So photosynthesis play a crucial role in maintaining environmental health because it absorbs carbon dioxide. So it's basically A. Okay. So that's good, students. Now just take a five minutes break. We are going to start with your no break. No break. Okay. So now your math class is going to resume in a while. Okay. So take out your math assessment. Um, 
morning students good morning good morning teachers please sit down please sit down and the students so in today's class we'll be discussing about which chapter yes now before starting straight away to the integers we'll discuss a few things why there is a need for integers or why there is a need for negative numbers now what you can make out from these slides kya samajh mein aa raha hai bachcho in slides ko dekh ke aapko yes ye dekhiye bachche yahan pe kya dikhaya hua hai ye yes yahan pe temperature dikhaya hua hai ji राइट सो हेयर इज टेम्परेचर अब ये दोनों जो टेम्परेचर है वट इज द डिफरेंस इन टू बोथ द थर्मामीटर्स अब ये वाला जो थर्मामीटर है ये दिखा रहा है बेटा दिस इज जीरो मार्क कैन यू सी दिस जीरो मार्क दिस इज अब जीरो एंड दिस इज सो नाउ वट हैपन जब टेम्परेचर जीरो डिग्री जीरो डिग्री इज वेरी कोल्ड अब जीरो से भी जब नीचे चला जाता है सो देन टू रिप्रेजेंट इट वट वी हैव टेकन अ नेगेटिव साइन नाउ हेयर वट इज द टेम्परेचर माइनस टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड हेयर टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस सो हेयर वी रिक्वायर नेगेटिव नंबर्स राइट now now comes to the second slide what you can see in this slide bachcho yahan pe kya nazar aa raha hai is slide mein c level c level okay see students jab hum kisi bhi place ki height measure karte hain right that is always measured with c level aap dekh rahe ho c level ko hum zero mark lete hain right is it clear yes. when you go to a hill station aap log hill station gaye hoge wahan pe likha hota hai na samundar tal se unchai ya matlab height from the sea level us wo place jo hai wo sea level se kitna upar hai right is it clear so that height of that place is measured from the sea level Now suppose this is a place. अब इसकी हाइट कितनी हो जाएगी बच्चे यहाँ पे अब सी लेवल सपोज सम प्लेस इज बिलो सी लेवल अगर हम सी लेवल के नीचे की बात करें आपने माइंस के बारे में सुना होगा बच्चे माइंस yeah. में जब वर्कर्स काम करते हैं दे गो इन साइड द हर सरफेस वो जो लेवल होता है उनका सपोज दे आर हंड्रेड मीटर बिलो द सी लेवल सो उनकी हाइट कितनी हो जाएगी माइनस हंड्रेड मीटर राइट जैसे कि यहां पे आप देख रहे हो दिखाया हुआ है ना कि इफ दिस इज अ प्लेस वट इज दिस हाइट हंड्रेड मीटर बट सिंस इट इज बिलो द सी लेवल वील पुट माइनस साइन इज दिस क्लियर बच्चों नो वट इज दिस शोन इन द थर्ड फिगर यहां पे एक ग्लोब दिखाया हुआ है आपको कैन यू सी द ग्लोब नाउ वट इज दिस लाइन इज नोन एज दिस सेंटर वाली जो लाइन होती है वट इज दिस लाइन नोन एज लिखा हुआ भी है बच्चों इक्वेटर इक्वेटर इज द लाइन विच पासिस थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ नाउ द प्लेसिस अब दिस लाइन दे आर पॉजिटिव उनकी जो डिग्रीज होती है ना That is positive और इसके जो नीचे होते हैं इक्वेटर लाइन के दे आर बेसिकली क्या होता है अगर आप जोग्राफी पढ़ते हैं सो अर्थ जो होती है उसको दो पार्ट में हमने डिवाइड किया होता है नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफियर साउदर्न हेमिसफियर जो साउदर्न हेमिसफियर में आ जाते हैं दे आर नेगेटिव और जो ऊपर आ जाते हैं इक्वेटोरियल लाइन से पॉजिटिव सो हेयर ऑल्सो वी यूज इज पॉजिटिव एज वेल एज नेगेटिव नंबर इज इट क्लियर कहा पे यूज होता है पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव 
ये नेक्स्ट वाली स्लाइड देखिए बच्चों लास्ट वाली इसमें आपको क्या नजर आ रहा है कुछ नजर आ रहा है इसमें नो no आइडिया चलिए मैं बताता हूं बच्चों अभी आपने थोड़े दिन पहले दो तीन साल पहले हैव यू हार्ड अबाउट कोरोना हम सब ने कोरोना को देखा कोरोना था सो so, किसी पर्सन को कोविड है या नहीं है उसके लिए हम क्या करते थे टेस्ट होता था कोविड का जिसको पर्सन को कोविड होता था तो व्हाट वी यूज टू से पॉजिटिव है जिसको नहीं होता था तो कोविड वी अगेन यूज इज पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव हेयर अब यहां पे देखिए रेड मार्क नजर आ रहा है सो दैट इज पॉजिटिव यहां पे देखिए रेड मार्क है पॉजिटिव जहां पे प्लस मार्क है दैट इज पॉजिटिव ज इट क्लियर और नॉट जी कोई डाउट बच्चे इसमें राइट नाउ वील रिवाइज आर स्टडी अबाउट द इंटीजर्स जो हमने कॉन्सेप्ट क्लास क्लास में किए हैं सो वील गो थ्रू इट पार्क राइट बच्चों सबसे पहले आते हैं एडिशन रूल्स हम इंटीजर्स के एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन जो चार बेसिक ऑपरेशन है उसके बारे में रूल्स की बात करते हैं नाउ सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट आता है बच्चे एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन व्हेन यू ऐड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट राइट इंटीजर्स सब्ट्रैक्ट या ऐड करना है तो सबसे पहला रूल क्या होता है इफ द साइन ऑफ द इंटीजर इज सेम मींस वेदर दे आर पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव ठीक है इफ दे आर पॉजिटिव एज वेल एज नेगेटिव सेम साइन क्या करते हैं बच्चों जब सेम साइन होते हैं तो एड एड द नंबर्स एंड पुट द कॉमन साइन फॉर एग्जांपल यहां पे फर्स्ट एग्जांपल में देखिए वी आर एडिंग प्लस थ्री एंड प्लस फाइव सो बोथ हैव द सेम साइन सो व्हाट विल बी द आंसर प्लस एट कॉमन साइन दोनों का पॉजिटिव था सो इट हैज टू बी प्लस एट नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल We are adding minus थ्री and minus फाइव right? When minus थ्री and minus फाइव are there, हमने add किया दोनों को because they have the same common sign. तो क्या आ गया बच्चों एट But this time the sign was negative, so it is minus एट Is it clear? Yes. अब आ जाओ थोड़ा सा different signs में जब भी different साइन आ जाए तो बड़ा सिंपल रूल है ग्रेटर में से स्मॉलर को सब्ट्रैक्ट करना है और ग्रेटर का साइन डाल देना है जी फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्लस थ्री एंड माइनस फाइव तो ग्रेटर कौन सा है फाइव स्मॉलर है थ्री सो फाइव माइनस थ्री इज टू बट सिंस ग्रेटर टर्म इज फाइव और फाइव का साइन कौन सा है तो माइनस आंसर आ जाएगा राइट right, बच्चों ग्रेटर में से स्मॉलर को माइनस करना है और ग्रेटर का साइन लगाना है सिंपल सी चीज है आपको जहां पे भी डाउट हो गो बैक टू द बेसिक ये वाली स्टेटमेंट याद रखना है जब सेम साइन है ऐड एंड पुट द कॉमन साइन जब डिफरेंट साइन है सब्ट्रैक्ट एंड पुट द साइन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट टर्म इज इट क्लियर अब नीचे वाले क्वेश्चन में देखिए अगेन वी आर एडिंग बट विथ डिफरेंट साइंस माइनस थ्री प्लस फाइव अगेन फाइव ग्रेटर है थ्री स्मॉलर है सो फाइव में से थ्री सब्टेक्ट किया यू गॉट टू बट ग्रेटर का साइन पॉजिटिव है एंड आंसर विल बी प्लस टू इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर और नॉट अब बच्चों दो क्वेश्चन दिए हुए हैं नीचे फटाफट से What number we shall add to minus eighty so that the answer is zero, right? क्या add करें बेटा minus eighty में कि answer zero आए? Positive eighty और इस property को क्या बोलते हैं? पता है sir property को क्या बोलते हैं? Additive आइडेंटिटी होती है बच्चे ये इनवर्स नहीं है ये 
एडिटिव एडिटिव सॉरी इट इज एडिटिव इनवर्स आइडेंटिटी होती है जब जीरो आप ऐड करते हैं सॉरी सो इट इज अदर वे अराउंड इट इज आइडेंटिटी एडिटिव इनवर्स राइट मीन्स आपने क्या उल्टा ऐड किया है कि उससे जीरो आ गया अगर आप जीरो ऐड करते हैं तो दैट इज नोन एज एडिटिव आइडेंटिटी इज इट क्लियर यस और नो नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी अब यहां पे देखिए बच्चे माइनस फोर प्लस फिफ्टीन प्लस माइनस थ्री अब यहां पे हम क्या आंसर लगाएं देखिए जरा क्वेश्चन देखिए ध्यान से माइनस फोर सबसे पहले हम ब्रैकेट सॉल्व करेंगे वट इज द आंसर ऑफ ब्रैकेट यस इट इज ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर प्लस ट्वेल्व राइट बट यहां पे ये माइनस फोर प्लस थर्टीन है हमारे पास क्या होना चाहिए यहां पे प्लस होना चाहिए साइन इक्वल की जगह पे प्लस साइन होना चाहिए इज इज क्लियर इज इट क्लियर बच्चों नाउ जब यहां पे प्लस साइन होगा तो डैश में क्या आएगा यहां पे डैश में क्या आ रहा है जी हाँ जी स्टूडेंट्स बेटा एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी होती है एक वट इज एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी यस और नो एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी पता है बच्चों यस हाँ जी स्टूडेंट्स एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी बेटा एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टीज होती है कि अगर हम पोजिशनिंग ब्रैकेट्स की अलग भी कर दे सो देन आल्सो इट कैन बी सी इफ यू आर डूइंग ए प्लस बी प्लस सी एंड इट इज इक्वल टू राइट और नॉट ये प्रॉपर्टी आप लोगों ने की है नहीं किया बच्चों तो हम यहां पे अगर इस साइन को प्लस कर दें तो हमारी प्रॉपर्टी बन रही है बेटा कैन यू टेक माइनस थ्री हेयर क्लियर है सो इट विल बी माइनस थ्री एनी डाउट नेक्स्ट आ जाइए सब्ट्रैक्शन सब्ट्रैक्शन में आपने क्या करना है बच्चों सपोज वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग द सेम साइन नंबर राइट When you are subtracting same sign, suppose plus फाइव minus, जब same sign के number subtract कर रहे हैं तो greater में से smaller को subtract करना है और common sign आ जाएगा Greater क्या था फाइव फाइव में से थ्री को subtract किया Answer is plus टू Is it clear? Is this clear or not बच्चो ये तो simple चीजें आप लोगों ने की भी है Yes or no? yes. तो देखिए दोनों सेम साइंस थे आप लोगों ने क्या किया इसको सब्ट्रैक्ट कर दिया नाउ हेयर दे हैव द अपोजिट साइन अगर अपोजिट साइन है सो वट यू विल डू अगेन सब्ट्रैक्ट अगर सेम साइन है तो सब्ट्रैक्शन करना है बच्चे सब्ट्रैक्ट करके कॉमन साइन लगा दिया फाइव माइनस थ्री इज टू एंड कॉमन साइन इज राइट अगर आपको इसमें प्रॉब्लम है तो आप क्या कर सकते हो बच्चे ब्रैकेट ओपन करके भी कर सकते हो जैसे दिस इज माइनस फाइव माइनस माइनस थ्री अब इसको सॉल्व करना है आपने सिंपल क्या किया इसकी ब्रैकेट्स ओपन कर दी दिस बिकम माइनस फाइव माइनस माइनस विल बी तो माइनस फाइव प्लस थ्री अपोजिट साइन देखिए बच्चे जो साइन जो लेते हैं ना हम किसी भी डिजिट के आगे वाला साइन लेते हैं फ्रंट में जो साइन है दिस प्लस साइन राइट सो फाइव का साइन नेगेटिव है थ्री का साइन पॉजिटिव है सो व्हाट विल बी द आंसर माइनस टू ग्रेटर में से स्मॉलर को सब्ट्रैक्ट कर दिया और ग्रेटर का साइन पुट कर दिया जी सो इट विल बी माइनस टू राइट नाउ इफ यू हैव डिफरेंट साइंस डिफरेंट साइंस में क्या करना है 
बेस्ट वे है कि आप इसकी ब्रैकेट ओपन करो अदरवाइज इट विल नीड टू कंफ्यूजन आपके पास क्या है प्लस फाइव माइनस माइनस थ्री सो वट इट बिकम्स ओपन द ब्रैकेट फाइव प्लस दिस इज अंप्लेक्स मैथड रूल्स के चक्कर में जाओगे तो कई बार प्रॉब्लम आ जाती है सो नेक्स्ट इज माइनस फाइव माइनस प्लस थ्री अगेन ओपन द ब्रैकेट माइनस फाइव माइनस थ्री राइट बच्चों डू दिस क्वेश्चन बच्चों लास्ट में क्वेश्चन गिवन है प्लीज ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन माइनस इंटू माइनस थर्टी फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी वट विल बी द आंसर फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी फोर बच्चे देखिए अपोजिट साइंस है माइनस थर्टी फोर एंड प्लस ट्वेंटी तो अपोजिट साइन में हम क्या करते हैं सब्ट्रैक्शन जब सब्ट्रैक्शन की हमने बच्चे तो थर्टी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी इज फोर्टीन और ग्रेटर टर्म का साइन आ जाता है सो माइनस फोर्टीन राइट सो माइनस इंटू माइनस फोर्टीन वट इट विल बी प्लस फोर्टीन गॉट इट कोई डाउट बच्चों इसमें आगे चलते हैं उसे हाँ जी नेक्स्ट देखिए कुछ क्वेश्चन है बच्चे सिंपल सिंपल एड माइनस फाइव एंड टू एड माइनस फाइव एंड टू यस यहां पे दोनों अपोजिट साइंस आर देयर बच्चे नेगेटिव फाइव प्लस पॉजिटिव टू व्हाट विल बी द आंसर दोनों के साइन अपोजिट है तो ग्रेटर में से स्मॉलर को सब किया और ग्रेटर नंबर का साइन आ गया जी नेक्स्ट वन थर्टीन माइनस थर्टीन एंड माइनस सेवन यस माइनस थर्टीन एंड माइनस सेवन यस स्टूडेंट्स अपोजिट साइंस अगेन और सेम साइन सेम साइन सेम साइन में क्या करते हैं एडिशन 13 प्लस सेवन इज 20 एंड कॉमन साइन इज तो आंसर विल बी जस्ट मैम आपकी आवाज जो है ना वो वाइब्रेट कर रही है आप थोड़ा माइक के पास आके बताएंगे हाँ जी मैम ओके जस्ट जस्ट मोमेंट मैम 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 जूम अभी हो नहीं पाएगा मैं आपको बता देता हूँ बच्चों को क्या क्या लिखा हुआ है राइट जी तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एड माइनस फाइव एंड टू इज इट विजिबल नाउ वी हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन माइनस फाइव एंड टू एडिशन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज एड माइनस थर्टीन एंड माइनस सेवन हैव वी डन दिस यस और नो बच्चों प्लीज डू अगर नहीं हुआ है सो यू कैन डू इट वी हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस When you are adding the same numbers, you need to add the numbers and put the common sign, right? Is it clear? Yes. Now the third question is: 
what we shall subtract what we shall subtract from the sum from the sum of 15 and minus 12 to get minus 8 is it clear but your question yes no please try this question also Right, Bacho? What we shall subtract from the sum of 15 and minus 12 means sum of 15 and 15 and minus 12. Right? What we shall subtract from this to get minus 8. This is the question, Bacho. Is it clear? So now, now, how you can do it? Can you take this number as? X? Yes, Bacho, please do it. वहाँ नहीं बच्चों अभी तक देखिए बच्चों कैसे करना है ये देखिए यहाँ पे आप पहले इसकी ब्रैकेट ओपन कर दीजिए राइट तो व्हाट यू गोट दिस इज बिकम प्लस थ्री नाउ थ्री माइनस एक्स should be equal to okay now you know what is class positioning aap agar ek term ko dusri term dusri taraf leke ja rahe ho equal ke to sign change hota hai have you idea or not yes very good bachcho ab dekhiye hum kya karte hain minus 8 ko is taraf le jate hain ji so what it becomes minus ka sign udhar jaake kya ho jayega bachcho प्लस और एक्स को जो है हम राइट right साइड पे ले आते हैं बच्चों एक्स का साइन कौन सा था माइनस माइनस साइन दूसरी तरफ जाके क्या बनेगा प्लस सो so, अब ये एक्स की वैल्यू कितनी आ गई हमारे पास इलेवन सो व्हाट वी शैल सब्रैक्ट इलेवन अगर आप थ्री में से इलेवन सब टैक्स करते तो आपका आंसर कितना आता है बच्चों माइनस एट आ रहा है यस और नो सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन क्लियर है यस और नो चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे चलते हैं जी नोट कर लिया सबने नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखिए बच्चों सब ट्रैक सब ट्रैक माइनस थ्री फ्रॉम माइनस फाइव अब यहां पे ध्यान से देखना बच्चों फ्रॉम फ्रॉम वाली कौन सी टर्म है माइनस फाइव सो वी हैव टू सब ट्रैक माइनस थ्री फ्रॉम माइनस फाइव सो माइनस फाइव पहले आएगा बच्चों राइट right? 
So solve this minus five minus minus three. माइनस टू कैसे आया बच्चों माइनस फाइव ये प्लस बन जाएगा सो अब ग्रेटर टर्म इज फाइव स्मॉलर इज थ्री अपोजिट साइन है तो आपने सब्ट्रैक्ट किया फाइव माइनस थ्री टू और ग्रेटर टर्म इज फाइव तो साइन किसका आएगा नेगेटिव समझ में आ रहा है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आ जाते हैं बच्चों वट वी शेल एड वट We shall add two minus eleven to get five. This is the question. Minus eleven में हम क्या add करें कि हमारा answer five आ जाए. Again try करेंगे बच्चे आप ये? Yes or no? Please please do it. अरे बच्चों इतनी देर थोड़ी लगनी है इसमें देखो माइनस इलेवन में हम क्या ऐड करें जो ऐड करना है उसको हमने एक्स ले लिया ये आंसर फाइव आ जाए हाँ जी माइनस सिक्स कितने लोग बोल रहे हैं प्लीज रेज योर हैंड जिनका आंसर माइनस सिक्स है काफी सारे बच्चे हैं और ये सारे रॉन्ग है देखो बच्चों कैसे करना है अब अगेन इस माइनस इलेवन को इस तरफ ले जाओ तो क्या बन जाएगा माइनस का साइन प्लस बन जाएगा यस और नो आंसर क्या आ गया क्लियर है ये तो हमने ये सारे क्वेश्चन आज कर लिए और आज की क्लास हम यहीं पे फिनिश कर रहे हैं so we'll meet in the next class and continue our study on integers so thank you very much students bye bye thank you teachers thank you.